Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabansi. want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, when we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And today, we have a pretty interesting show for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. So today, we're going to have one of those episodes where I'm sure some people are going to get pissed off, but hey, I got to do it. Now, as you all know, the Lakers just got eliminated. They got swept um, in the Western Conference Finals by a juggernaut which looks like the, the, the what is it, the, the Denver Nuggets. Um, they were able to win that series pretty decisively, although game four was very, very uh, competitive. In the aftermath of that game, uh, there were a lot of questions, and a lot of questions really surrounding LeBron. LeBron made some comments that a lot of people now felt, oh, is he possibly going to retire? There were some storylines around that. But there was also some storylines around LeBron's play and his capabilities moving forward. As you guys know, LeBron just finished his 20th year uh, at 38 years old. Going into next season, this guy's going to be 39 years old if he does decide uh, to continue to play basketball. Um, I've been listening to a lot of people online talk about LeBron in the waning moments of that game. In fact, I was listening to <laughs> I was listening to Kwame Brown yesterday, and <laughs> Kwame Brown was going off. He was going off on LeBron, but in a very funny way, like in a way where he was, it was basically based on his basketball game. He was basically saying, hey man, LeBron, why don't you have a go-to move? Why don't? Why can't you get to your spot? Why is your only move step back three or put your shoulder down, drive right, put your shoulder down, drive left? Why don't you have a, so he was like, if you have a great, if you have a great score, if it was an MJ, MJ could, you know, MJ could get to his spot. He's like, if you know anything about the NBA uh, and, and great scores, once a great scorer gets to their spot, there, 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 there's nothing you can do about him, right? And I understand exactly what he was saying because if you look at the last play, LeBron didn't really. But I'm not here to beat upon LeBron. I just thought that what Kwame Brown was saying was pretty, pretty uh, interesting because he was talking basketball. It was funny, but he was talking basketball for sure. So uh, this morning, I was doing some research, kind of combing through the internet here, and I came across a soundbite uh, featuring Rick Buecher, of Fox Sports. Now, Rick Buecher is known as one of the guys in sports media that, you know, is not afraid to say what he thinks about LeBron. He's not afraid. He's usually outnumbered on every single panel he's on. Uh, Usually, it's all LeBron people in the media, so he's usually the odd man out. And if you read some of the comments under the videos that he's he's a part of, a lot of people, oh, look at LeBron here. Oh, look at LeBron. (laughs) Some LeBron fans, they're not a fan of Rick Buecher. But anyway, Rick Buecher was on the show yesterday uh, speak and they were talking about LeBron. And when it got to Rick Buecher's turn, or when it was his time to talk, they were essentially discussing, you know, LeBron moving forward, and can he be one of those players that can impact a basketball game? And some of the points that Rick Buecher made, I thought were so poignant, but damn, so direct, that caused a lot of people to kind of push back on what he had to say about LeBron. So what we want to do is, we want to play what Rick Buecher had to say here about LeBron James. And then we'll come back and react to his comments. So take a listen to what Rick had to say about LeBron there. His days as a dominant player, a game-changing player, are over. And he recognizes that. Why does a sweep mean that to you? Because much like we saw with Steph in the previous series, like, I just need to get one. I need to get one for for me. Mm -hmm. I need to get one just to show that you can't completely dominate me, that... I may not be able to win a series. I may not have what it takes to, to move on or whatever, but I can get one. On, on a given night, I'm still good enough to get one. And I've seen it time and time again. You mentioned Phil Jackson retiring. That was also, that was the year after they won a championship, yep. got swept by Dallas. It was also the last time that Kobe Bryant was in any yep. meaningful, made any sort of meaningful run. Um, Jason Kidd. With, with the Dallas Mavericks, mm-hmm. got swept. He went and had a cup of coffee with the New York Knicks the next year, but it was that was a year after they won a championship at the age of 38. It just, there's a point at which the great players who, what do we often say with LeBron for years in Cleveland, give him just about anything. He did it in 2020 in the bubble. Mm-hmm. Like, just give him a little bit of talent around him and he'll figure out, he can figure out a way to get it done. Well, they transformed this team, right? To give him as much as they possibly could give him. And ultimately it came down to, he gave you the big first half. He couldn't finish it. 
And it was him with the ball in his hands, Jamal Murray and Aaron Gordon stuffing him. Ugh. Like Ugh. that reality that I can't just get the ball and impose my will on a game when it's there for the taking. You could make the case that happened three times in this series. Pivotal moments. Right? So you heard what he had to say that he doesn't believe LeBron is that player anymore that can impact basketball games the way that he used to do uh, in the past. Now, I don't understand what's so controversial about this. I don't see what people are so upset about for two reasons. Number one, LeBron, is he not 38 years old? Good. So he is, he's 38 years old, which means he's a much, much older player, correct? So everyone knows the older you get, I mean, you're going to slow down. You're not going to be able to do the things you were able to do at 28 or 22. So I don't understand why people are being so contentious about that. Number one. Number two, if LeBron, in fact, could do the things that a lot of people have issues with Rick Bucher saying, then why didn't he do them? Why did he not do them? LeBron is getting old. This is not a knock at him. It's nothing like that. It's just the reality of them. That's why I don't have so these high expectations. He's getting old. He's an older player, right? So for people to say, oh, it's disrespectful. How is it disrespectful? You saw. You saw the guy go out there in game four, score 30 points, 30 points, I believe, in the first half. And it looked like in the second half, he was totally tapped out totally tapped out it's like he had nothing else to give that's a byproduct of age now the only thing i didn't understand watching lebron in that game was simply this i was watching that game and i don't understand it some people think i'm trying to be naive here i really didn't understand it if you watch that game lebron played 47 minutes and 56 seconds he basically played the entire game if you look at the box score of that game all of his other teammates rested at a certain point I don't know how LeBron got all that energy to play. That is the part I don't understand. How is it that he did not get fatigued in that game? Everybody else did. Everyone, the Joker, Jamal Murray, Anthony Davis, everyone took a break except him. I don't know where he got all that energy from. I don't know where he got all of that stamina from. That, that was weird. I don't know how he did that. But nevertheless, he ran out of gas. He couldn't replicate what he did in the first half and the second half. And that's okay. And that's okay. So for Rick Buecher saying that LeBron is not the player he used to be moving forward, I don't think anything is controversial about that. That is why some people were pushing back when some people said, oh, LeBron is a top 10 player in the NBA. Well, is he really? Is he really? Because if he is, why wasn't he able to impact the game the way other players were able to now some people say oh well he's injured and if you want to reach for the injured argument no problem to be quite honest with you if that's what you feel that lebron was injured and you want to hold on to that then fine because if you believe that if lebron was okay it's so my question is if he was 100 percent healthy what exactly were you expecting to see that what they were going to beat the nuggets there's no way there's no way they couldn't even get one game there's no way you're going to tell me that if he was 100 percent healthy they win that series. there's just no way and that's just a total disservice uh, to the Denver Nuggets. So these are my thoughts on what uh, Rick Bucher had to say. So what I want to know from you guys, what do you think about what Rick Bucher had to say? Uh, whatever you guys think, leave your thoughts in the comment section and we catch you on the next.